Welcome Homeworthy, my name is Ruth McKinney and I'm so excited to have you on Hillside Farm. It's a really big day today. My daughter Avery is getting married tomorrow right here on the farm and we're getting everything ready. So it's a bevy of activity from vendors, chairs, tables, everything's getting set up, flowers are going in. So I'm excited to share not only the setup with you, but the final day tomorrow. So bear with me as I probably have tears through the day. And thank you for being here. I'm Ruth McKinney and this year I'm inviting Homeworthy to join my family for all of our annual highlights at Hillside Farm, our 305 year old farmhouse steeped in history and love. After decades of flipping houses, my husband Bob and I settled here where we raised our five children. And this year you'll join us for holiday gatherings and the upcoming wedding of our daughter, happening right here at Hillside where we welcome your company as we share in the simple pleasures of life at home. I'll offer tips from my book, Hungry for Home, to help infuse your own home with moments of joy, filling home-cooked meals with flavor for the whole family, and of course, decorating with amazing antique finds. So sit back and make yourself at home. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Okay. I want to introduce you to Keely. You've met her before. She's been on another episode. She helped me put some beautiful floral arrangements together. Mm -hmm. And she's here with her mom to do the wedding. So she is attempting to do something incredible. First of yes. all, how did you get involved in this? Because she's taking over her mom's I business. Am. Yeah. 20 years of floral design with my mom. She's retiring. So now it's my it's turn. It's your turn to have this flower. Yeah. And her eyes, she's just incredible. True. It's a dream come true. Yeah. And I've known her since she was a teenager. So it is so sweet that she gets to do my kids' weddings. It's the best. Um, so we've had a great plan, and she was amazing in implementing that plan. Avery had a very different look and style that she wanted than my first daughter. And Keely knew exactly how to channel that. What, what are we going to see? Lots of greens, lots of like concentrated flower groupings, lots of glassware, candles. She wanted kind of a more streamlined, chic, yeah, kind of yeah, elegant. Yeah, exactly. Look. Very sculptural. Okay. So what's going on up here? We're making a green chandelier. We're dangling some. This is called Smilax. It's a vine from the south. Mm -hmm. It grows like in New Orleans. Okay. And and is it all nice. hey, there it is. Oh, there it is in the box. So it's you're going to hang this. Yeah. Are flowers hanging or is twinkle it? Twinkle lights. We, we have some orchids. We're going to stick in here and twinkle lights. Oh, twinkle lights. And this is over the dance floor. Yeah. So very romantic. Amazing. And mm -hmm. then Adam and all of these long kings tables, you're going to be setting up how? Because I see different sticks going up. Yeah. So we have sticks, some vertical arrangements with the orchids coming out and curly willow. And then we have on the other tables concentrated little groups of flowers. We have roses in some, a stilby in another, orchids in another. But they're all what color? All white flower. All white. She wanted all, yeah. all shades of white. It's going to be very classy, okay. very beautiful, elegant, romantic. And you do people's weddings. You do. Yeah, what you that's do. what I do. That's what I love to do. Right. And I get to do it. Life How is good. to find you if they want to find you. By Instagram, way. Keely Floral Design. Keely, how do you spell Keely? K E E L Y Floral Design. All right. Thank you. Watch her. Sure. I love you. Let's watch you go up oh, the ladder. I love you. All right. All right. Be careful. So good. Yeah. So, how are you sticking this up there? It just winds. Luckily, it just kind of tangles on itself, wow. but you can wrap it around and stick it to another one. Pretty cool. So graceful. So grateful. Oh, graceful. We are. Uh, well, I am grateful too. So, very grateful. Like a romantic secret garden. That is true. You know? So incredible. Super easy. Sometimes we use zip ties, but you don't even need to. I was going to use them, but it seems to be working just fine without it. We drove, or I should say, not we, Bob drove hours away to get this wheel because it's oh, like wow. the ones hanging in our barn yeah. they're um 
they're hollow. So they're really light weight. Okay. Um, and cause Avery had this big vision of something over her at the wedding. That's so fun. Reception. That's cool. I thought you had these wheels. We do. They're hanging over the, okay. in the we bar. We did an extra one. We did an extra one. Cool. Yes. I love it. Well, it looks cool. I was like, how tall are the people? And apparently the, the groom's Six, seven, family are very, very tall. tall. So if you think anything's too long, let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is Heather Erling, who has been one of my oldest and dearest, my closest friend. And she helped with Alex's wedding. She, Keely and her mom call and Heather comes running. So she's been very experienced in this. What are you doing on these tables? So we're cutting curly willow and we're doing these long stalks in these vases, which is really dramatic. And then tomorrow, day of the wedding, at the last minute, we'll, they're going to stick in flowers. So orchids and some hydrangea are going to go inside here so that you'll have some different um, height and variety of flowers. Is it just orchids orchid. and hydrangea? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll be And gorgeous. then a lot of candles on these tables, a lot of light. That'll look yeah. really pretty. She wanted the drama and yep. the simplicity. Yep which was very different than Alex's it wedding, is, which was more is. the romance and I way. And the height though, because in yeah. the tent, it's nice. So there's gonna be a variety. These, we're gonna go like every other row. So we'll have a row of the height with the willow and then lower on the next line and then height again with the willow and then lower. It'll look really uh, pretty. That's gonna be yeah. incredible. And with that centerpiece. I know, and I love all the greens. The incredible. greens are beautiful. You really can't go wrong with greens no. and whites. It's yeah. going to be stunning. Very it's going to be stunning. Yeah. All right. Thank you for your help. Yep. Here we are. We're in the bottom of our barn, and this is where kind of the magic is happening as far as all of the food. But to my families, like, it's been crazy because this is normally where our dune buggies, our golf cart, bikes. I mean, it is Bob's workstation where he handles all the carpentry work. So when I tell you it was a disaster. It was a disaster. And the caterers came in here and they were like, we have to cook food in here. So for the last few days, we've had to move everything out, put plastic sheeting to kind of cover our stuff. And they said there can't be a particle of dust. So here I have my son who they've been sweeping literally since yesterday. They've swept, they've mopped, they've swept, they've mopped because, you know, it continues to settle. So here's where it all starts. We've got all of the dishware on this side. We have ovens that are getting plugged in over here, but this is where the magic will happen. All right, here we are in the courtyard where this is where the actual wedding is gonna take place. And this is we, with all one of our very dearest friends, and he's the one who's actually gonna be officiating. So here we are, we're setting up the chairs and why it's really hard to set up chairs, there is nothing level about this ground whatsoever so after they put them in rows they're going to go by hand and dig little holes for each of the chairs to sit level so it gets very complicated and lee's you're helping <laughs> so this is your second wedding yes, of our girls it is and did you take time how long did it take to prepare this one uh, i took about nine months nine ten months, months not nine months because he's months been counseling. having a lot of time with them um premarital counseling yes getting to know them and um Anyway, there's nobody who'd rather do this, but he also baptized a few of our kids. So he is part of our family. Yes. And uh, so they're going to be, Lee will be standing up top, right? Yes. And um, that's where they'll be married. They'll walk down the aisle in the center. And this is what we're going to be doing all day. All right, here's Bob, the father of the bride. And what are you doing? So one of the challenges of setting up a ceremony in your yard is to make sure it's symmetrical. Being the engineer that I am, I have to make everything exact or in line mm -hmm. and pulling out my, what I would call my rope salad from my wedding two years ago to redo this. And we're- Is this kind of like Christmas tree lights? If you don't put it away right, this is what it looks like? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. And okay. so can you untangle this? No, one? I cannot. <laughs> no, I cannot. And so I'm going to- Lesson I'll... learned. Take the time to do it right the Thank first you. time. Thank you. I'll remember okay, that. Okay. So how is this And so work? we will do two straight lines down the center to therefore our chairs will be perfectly lined up. And so when we walk down with our daughter, it is just perfection. And how are you feeling as a father of the bride? Everything has been running around so fast and so crazy right now. I haven't had a chance to really mm -hmm. process it, but I will later tonight at the rehearsal. And 
tomorrow will be the day that it'll start sinking in and it will be amazing. <laughs> Love you. Amazing. Okay, here we are. This is the front. Everyone's getting those chairs ready, but it's beginning to shape up. But I wanted to introduce you to Ilanka. Ilanka is Dutch. She has been in my life. I'm already going to start crying. Ah, she has been in my life for 25 years yeah. since I first got married. Yeah. The 40 and, uh, she is Keely's mom, and she came out of retirement to do both my daughter's wedding. And she is one of the most special women I know. So when it came time to sitting and deciding what we we're going to do for the wedding, her brain, she's a master. And she almost knew how to channel everything Avery wanted and actually show her and put it into words. And so she came out here to the property, and I want you to explain what we're doing. The bride and groom are going to be standing right here. Right, right. What are we doing back here? Okay, so the, the, the idea is that the backdrop is just, you know, all around them. So Bob was wonderful to put this little shelf up for me. So we're going to right. put uh, oasis up there and then fill it with lots and lots of uh, lilies. And then we have greenery hanging down with little suspended lilies, if the lilies open, that is. Uh, you're gonna have, <laughs> we're going to make them open. Yeah, we're going to pray for those lilies. So it's going to be really a beautiful backdrop that, you know, that fills this space. So, yeah, that's because the bride and the room will be standing right yeah. in front of it. Yeah. So it'll fill this whole back yeah, wall. Yeah, it'll be really very pretty, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Love you, girl. Love you. All right. You've got all of the logistics happening. You have caterers coming, flowers going, chairs going up, tables going up. And sometimes you just have to sit back and realize what's getting ready to happen. And how do you give a daughter away, you know, this morning? Because I'm going to speak at the rehearsal dinner. And um, I don't think moms usually get to talk very much. And I was actually writing, you know, you're here, you carry them for nine months. You used to stare at them in their crib and watch them for hours. You're there for every up, down, success, failure, disappointment, heartbreak, and the realization of their dreams. And you don't really get to say those things. And so tonight I'm actually gonna take some time, but I was writing it down, all the things I was thinking about her this morning. And now I know why moms don't talk. It is really hard. So that's what um, my goal for all of this is that Avery knows she's celebrated and loved and that this be a time of celebrating something new for her and that's her marriage. So. But it isn't for the faint of heart to give a daughter away. And I'm sure it's not for the faint of heart to give a son away. I just haven't had that privilege yet. But number five, that will be my privilege. So I can only speak from being a mom of the bride. And uh, here we go. Next Saturday on Homeworthy, the wedding day is here. We're taking you behind the scenes of Avery and Zach's celebration at Hillside Farm. We'll see the finishing touches put on the reception area where florist Keeley is perfecting the gorgeous flower arrangements. Inside, the bridesmaids are getting ready with last minute touch-ups. A special mother-daughter moment is had over something blue, something borrowed, and something new. And Avery shares a heartfelt first look with Bob before the ceremony. And later, family and friends give emotional speeches and guests dance the night away. You won't want to miss this special episode next week, so be sure to subscribe to watch the full episode. There's so much love ahead. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content, shopping guides, and so much more.